Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're back at the ATA again. We're over here with Half Rack, um, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about a few of their products. But we're gonna talk about this meat lug first, which I think is my favorite part of this. Um, that you are most certainly gonna see me do a full review of. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him explain this to you, if you don't mind. Yeah. Thanks, Clifton. No, we got two sizes here. Call this the meat lug. They're soft-sided coolers. We got the airline version. You can take it as a carry-on. You're traveling out of state. We have the large one. What's really cool about these is they weigh nothing before you load it. A lot of coolers weigh a ton. Yep. So we've designed it so the zipper goes past the dimension of the cooler, so it opens up huge. So you can fit a full quarter deer in here, big old buck, you know, 200 some pounder, quartered out in here, and have room for ice. Uh, just for uh, comparisons, this holds 92 cans. Oh wow! This guy holds 55. So okay. Pretty, and you can put them in the back seat of your truck in the cab. You know, yep. it doesn't have to go in the bed. Yeah, and that's the cool thing, guys. Is I know you can't be here to touch it, fill it, or whatever. Whenever I get it to the house, I'm most certainly going to put it on a scale and that kind of stuff. But I mean, it's like feather light. Like it's it's insane. And something we were talking about yesterday is like, for me, and y'all know how I am. I'm traveling all over the place. I'm hunting or whatever. You just is like, put your clothes in here so you can keep your clothes from smelling and then once you kill that toad you're not worried about your clothes smell anymore anyways you just take them out and put the deer in there right yeah. so hey that's this right so we're going to talk about a couple other things real quick as we move down this wall we're going to give it a minute until they uh, so they can move on but they've got one product over here that goes with their bow hanger actually i guess we can just probably no, grab one of those it. right yep. there um and i seen this hanging yesterday and so for me and a lot of people right self-filming is becoming huge right everybody huge. does it whether it's for a show it's for youtube or whatever or it's for their self so as small and i love these kind of things it's the little things that make the biggest difference right so whenever i'm in a stand that's trying to find a place to hang my gopro check this thing out right so, here we got a quarter 20 port so you can attach that gopro they got cell phone holders ozone anything really that will attach on here so it's on both the 10 inch and the 18 inch and it's that super simple stuff it's the thing that's overlooked Everybody overlooks and then somebody yeah. like y'all is like, oh, no, 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 hey, just put that right there. Yeah, you know right there. I mean? Use yep. it. Uh, so, guys, we're going to drag you down here with us real quick to uh, show you these, what do you call them? Hunter hangers. The hunter hangers. I would have called them pegs, <laughs> but the hunter hangers. Let's check them out. So, we're going to go ahead and jump on this real quick, but this is a cell phone holder. This is what I was talking about. This is what I seen on the wall earlier where you can just, that's just a little cheap Amazon cell phone holder is what he yep. was saying, but basically just screws down on there. So any of your mounts that work, like I know for sure I can put that camera on there if I wanted to, obviously you I'm could. not going to, but if you want a secondary camera angle and stuff like that, that's a big deal. So. You're only putting one hole in the tree and able to hold most everything that you need right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Well, the thing is that you run into is like the new GoPros. Yep. So like the nines and above, they're all Zoom, yep. right? Because people want to use them for an action camera. Well, whenever I put mine in the tree, and I'm trying to find a place to put it, everything wants to be right here. Yep. But if I had that and it's around the tree, it's yep. just gonna make it easier, I promise. <laughs> so tell us about those things okay. over there. Come on over. So these are the hunter hangers. And as you can see, it's holding a bow here. It's holding it straight. Now, if I had the, our coyote brown ones, which we have five colors, it'd look like this was floating, which is pretty cool. What I love about them is they'll hold 50 pounds each. So you can hang decoys on there. You can hang your waders. We're showing everything here, Clifton. Yep. So guns, the diameter, I have one here. So the diameter uh, will fit through any trigger guard. So you're awesome. able to hang any gun on the wall as well. But uh, we're making those here, five colors, and we're able to add logos. So I see logos here, and we just did some for another company. So that's pretty awesome. cool. Um, well, and the thing is, is they're talking about applications in the house. And y'all know me, again, the public land, the grind, the duck hunting, the turkey hunting, and stuff like that. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I could screw one of those in the side of the tree and just hang my shotgun on it when I'm in the duck hole. Yep. You know, that kind of stuff. I feel how light they are, Clifton. I think you're going to like that. There's not anything. They weigh it's nothing. It's a screw. They weigh nothing. <laughs> yeah, it weighs as much as the screw that's in it. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. So, really stoked about these. Well, cool, guys. That's Half Rack. You've seen some of their stuff. They've got a whole lot more stuff. Go check them out on their website. It's all the, like, their website is full of the little bitty things that you just overthink, right? Yep. Yeah, whether you've been doing whether it's their first time or you've been doing it for decades, it's just stuff that you need. Yep. So. Absolutely. Well, hey man, we appreciate you for letting us come over. No, thank you, Clifton. So next time, it. guys, we'll see you from a tree.